Hello and welcome to this video on our ICD-11 Morbidity Coding Pilot in Kuwait. I'm Dr. Islam Ibrahim from the National Center for Health Information. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the methodology for our pilot and where we've reached so far. This pilot is organized by the National Center for Health Information, MOH Kuwait, which hosts the Hufik Collaborating Center in the Emro region. In close collaboration, with Farwaniya Hospital, where we're conducting the pilot. We'll talk about the aim of the pilot, the setting of the pilot, then the three phases of the pilot. Phase one is the preparation, phase two, implementation, and phase three, analysis and reporting. The aim of this pilot is to test the real-life implementation of the ICD-11 coding tool for coding inpatient discharge diagnoses by physicians at a secondary public hospital in Kuwait. The setting is Farwaniya Hospital, which is a public general hospital in Kuwait, funded and regulated by the Ministry of Health. It has 849 beds and discharges more than 35,000 inpatients a year. It serves more than 25% of Kuwait's population. Now we come to the first phase of our pilot, preparation. To have a successful pilot, you have to pay special attention to the space. You're dealing with clinicians who have very limited time. The pilot needs to be very practical and very well planned. This phase includes four steps, the first of which was evaluating the current situation. We shadowed doctors as they did the discharge process in the wards, and then we also checked or studied the inpatient discharge fields on the hospital information system, understanding the fields that were already on the system, how the doctors document the discharge diagnoses, what kind of fields do they have, which ones were free text, which ones from, were from drop-down menus. The second step was planning the pilot. This was done through a series of meetings between our team from the National Center for Health Information and the team from Farwaniya Hospital. This included three types of personnel, the administration, because leadership commitment is crucial, the IT team, because ICD-11 is completely electronic, and so obviously the IT team have to be included right from the beginning, and representatives from the medical departments where the ICD-11 pilot will take place. The heads of departments were involved from day one. Through this series of meetings and our discussions, explaining what we saw in the first step, which was evaluating the current situation and how we want uh, the pilot to proceed and listening to their comments and their recommendations, we in the end reached consensus. The third step is preparing the hospital information system. Based on what we saw in the first step, which was evaluating the current situation and our discussions with the team from the Farwanea Hospital, we designed a new discharge interface on the hospital information system. This was done to organize the way the final diagnoses were documented into one principal diagnosis and several other diagnoses. This includes two types of documentation, a free text field and an ICD-11 field. Then the IT team installed the ICD-11 coding tool on the hospital information system. Then we trained the doctors. We conducted a short, concise, and practical training, followed by hands-on exercises. The hospital director himself attended the training and gave a short talk on the importance of coded data for decision-making. Educational material from the workshop were recorded and were distributed on the WhatsApp groups that the doctors are using. We also made a YouTube channel and uploaded these videos. The second phase is the implementation phase. During implementation, we had a support team in the hospital at all times. This was crucial, especially during the first two weeks of the pilot. There was a team from the Hufik Center, two doctors, myself and Dr. Suhair Azem, to provide ICD-11 support, and Mr. Mustafa Salamin, head of the Hufik Center, for logistical support. We also had, from Farwaniya Hospital, the hospital director, available whenever we needed him, and an IT personnel. We don't expect that training the doctors and installing the ICD-11 coding tool on the hospital information system will ensure a successful pilot. At the beginning, there may be trouble. IT issues, doctors 
finding a new system to use and changing their practice. So it's very important to have a support team on board. We conducted two rounds every day throughout all the wards that are included in the pilot. And in those rounds, we had the IT personnel with us so that if there is any IT issues, they would be solved on the spot. At the end of each day, especially during the first two weeks, we had a roundup meeting at the end of the day, all of us together, the three from the UFIC Center and the two people from the Parwanea Hospital. This was very important to solve the problems early on. Now let me show you the new process at discharge, which is happening now during the implementation phase. Let's suppose a doctor wants to discharge a patient with ST elevation myocardial infarction. The doctor would write that down in uh, free text on the left hand side. And then by clicking this icon, they can select the ICD-11 code. This opens up a window. In the search box, the doctor types in the diagnosis. The doctors here can use abbreviations, which they found really useful. They were happy with this feature specifically. They were also very happy with the post-coordination feature that ICD-11 offers because it reminds them of the details that they need to add. Once the search results appear, the doctor takes a look and selects the one they want. The ICD-11 code appears up on the right and the doctor clicks on save. Returning back to that screen, the doctor will see the entity title appear on the right hand side. The doctor will not see the ICD-11 code. Doctors are not interested in codes. They'd rather see the, the information in their own language, which is the ICD-11 entity title. At the same time that the pilot is going on, data is being collected on a data file. The data file was designed before we started implementation. And it includes three types of data. Data related to discharge diagnoses, the free text documented by the doctor, the ICD-11 code selected by the doctor, and the ICD-10 code by the coder, which is the HIM staff in the medical records department. We also collected the uh, free text body of the discharge summary. We designed a set of questions. The doctor will not be allowed to exit the discharge summary without filling in these questions. There are three structured questions. Did you find what you're looking for? How easy was it to find the diagnosis in this case? And the time you took to find what you're looking for? And then one unstructured question where the doctor can type in free text their opinion. We asked the doctors to document here any abbreviations that they couldn't find on ICD-11 or any difficulties that they faced. And we explained that writing this down here would be very helpful to the WHO to improve ICD-11 for everyone. Other data elements that are collected include patient demographic data, admission and discharge dates and uh, departments, discharge status and procedures. The third and final phase is the analysis and reporting. We're not there yet, we're still during the implementation phase, but we have a clear idea as to how we want to organize our results. Our results will look into two aspects. First, from a user perspective, how user-friendly was an ICD-11 coding tool embedded into the hospital information system from the point of view of the physician? And we plan to answer this question by looking at the data from the three uh, structured questions that we offered the doctor at the end of the discharge summary. From a data perspective, how much does the ICD-11 code selected by the physician represent the diagnosis documented in the discharge summary? Remember, we're also collecting the free text that the doctor had entered, plus the body of the discharge summary. Are there any recommendations to the WHO for improvements, like improving post-coordination options, adding synonyms, or common medical terms that are used in our region, or abbreviations? We already have some of those that we have documented and plan to report to the WHO. Do the ICD-11 codes selected by the doctors capture more detail than the ICD-10 codes that are provided by the HAM coders? That's how far we've reached in our pilot. Thank you for watching.